It's good to be back with you all this week. I hope your week is going well. And I wanted to share a few updates as we continue to navigate the uncertain and ever-changing world that is the COVID-19 pandemic, particularly since the Delta variant began its march across the United States and into our community. As you no doubt are aware, we have seen significant upticks in cases of individuals with COVID over the past week. We are up 33% on our rolling 14-day average from where we had been. And if you look around the country or even around our area, you can expect that we will likely continue to see increases for the time being as we move forward. This has an impact on operations across our organization. It has an impact on us as individuals, collectively as employees, and absolutely on the broader community and every resident who comes in our doors. I first want to say thank you as the county board chose to reinstitute a mask mandate for all employees and visitors to county properties that went into effect last week. I know it's frustrating to take steps backwards during this time after we had had a mandate in place and then were able to move away from it. We have said since the beginning we're going to move with the science and the virus. And as we have seen, our rates tick into the category of substantial transmission as defined by the Center for Disease Control, the CDC. We had to take a step backwards and take on additional mitigation tools. During last week's conversation on vaccine, or excuse me, on masks, the county board also raised the issue of vaccines, saying they wanted to see a more robust proposal come forward to ensure we are using every available tool to keep every employee and resident in our community safe. As an organization, we spent the last week working together to begin the foundational steps in a long process of putting together an approach that would use vaccines alongside masks as tools in our organization. Technically, it would put vaccines and testing alongside masks as the official tools in our organization. I'm sure you've read some of this or you may have heard some of this. And so first, what I want to say is today was not about asking the county board to vote on anything, but to discuss the proposal in front of them as a step in the process. That today, the proposal that was shared outlined a path by which masks will remain in use as current. And then alongside that on the vaccine front, moving forward, we are looking at policies that would be similar or mirror the federal government policy, policies you started to see roll out on a statewide level in certain spots around the country and at many large corporations around the country in which it is required that an employee either disclose that they have been vaccinated or subject to weekly testing to show a negative COVID test result as a part of that process. As we work to implement um, this approach and begin our work with all of you as employees and with our labor partners and many important stakeholders in this process, we know there are a lot of places in which we have to be thoughtful. The most important thing I know is that we start from a place of assuming good intent for our employees, assuming they too want to stay safe, be safe, and keep others safe. We also know that we start from a place where we assume our employees will do the right thing. All that being said, we are living in a world right now where we live in the dark. I can't tell you today what percentage of our employees are vaccinated. And many of you have reached out and expressed concerns about understanding that as a part of how can you ensure me that this is a safe workplace. Others have clearly reached out with concerns about any step forward in terms of vaccines and recognizing that we remain under an emergency youth use authorization at this time. I want to acknowledge those concerns. I want to acknowledge hearing them. And I also want to note that it's important that we consider all of those pieces as we move forward. The piece of using vaccines as a tool has a strong grounding in public health that it makes a difference in protecting you and others, and that it is not at the same time a panacea on its own. And so I just want to make sure that I acknowledge to all of you, we, we are working on masks, we are working on vaccines, and since the beginning we have said we're going to follow public health advice, we're going to trust those who have spent their lives and dedicated their lives to this field, we're going to do what we can as an organization to support every employee. And while the idea of vaccines and 
asking to provide information on vaccination will be foreign to many of us in this organization. It is not for everyone. We have had many employees for many years in specific areas of work who have already been asked to take similar steps as a part of their day-to-day -day profession, which shows that in some ways this is a unique circumstance and in other ways this is unique for some of us and more a course of business for others. I wanna thank those of you who have taken time to weigh in already, or those of you prospectively who may take time to weigh in. I truly mean that. I read the information that you share. I try hard to think about it all seriously, and not just me, but the entire team of individuals working with the county board who I know also care greatly about our employees and the work that we all do. Ultimately, the safety of every employee comes to the top of that list. And there's nothing worse than writing a message to an organization that is impacted by the loss of someone who has worked here due to COVID-19. And I know that we all have had to grieve together over this last year through moments like that. Finally, the idea of reimagining Ramsey County workplaces and flexible work and how this all ties into the broader conversations is important. So let me put this out there as we move toward next week. There's a board workshop next Tuesday to talk about the findings from the survey on the flexible work policy and what it means going forward. But right now I want you to hear that our original redesigned Ramsey County workplaces, return to work spaces, conversation, we're putting off the timeline of that being implemented immediately after Labor Day. Please do not assume that anyone will be asked to come to work in a new capacity other than their current status of how they are doing work beginning immediately after Labor Day. We're gonna hit pause. We're gonna lay out a more concrete timeline. And next week with the board discussion being the final step along that process, I'll be sure to get more information out to all of you. But clearly, while we sit in a substantial and high risk category, there is more we need to do than masks and conversations around vaccine and testing. We also must take steps to think about how to keep space between one another to truly protect people in every way possible. I sincerely thank you for working here. I know that some of you will find this message to be uplifting. I know others may be frustrated about Ramsey County's efforts to go beyond masks and distancing as a part of its effort to control the spread of COVID-19. I know no matter where you fit on that continuum, we all share in a frustration and exhaustion with this pandemic, which has come roaring back, and a continued concern that we must find ways to move beyond our current reality. I thank you for being here. I thank you for the role you play here. I thank you for your work with residents. And I thank you for taking individual steps to keep yourself and the collective around you safe. I look forward to being back with you again next week. And I hope this information is helpful in laying out where we are and where we will continue to go in the weeks ahead. And until then, please be well and enjoy time with friends and family around you.